Good, Good morning. morning. Welcome to 7 for 7. Amen. Let's just pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just give you the honor, the glory, and the praise this morning. God, we are excited about who you are in our lives and all that you are doing in and through us. God, we ask that you would just touch the hearts and the minds of your people. Give them ears to hear and a heart to receive. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 You know, we're going through um, Proverbs. This, uh, this proverb series. Yeah. And really what, you know, what inspires me is, is that proverbs can be something that is, you know, you can read a proverb and then you can pray it. And the unique thing is, is that God wants to give us wisdom every day. That's why there are 31 proverbs. Amen. It covers any month. You know, there's no month that has more than 31 days. That's right. And, and then you can let that be a cycle because every day, you know, if you just interject a proverb into your daily devotional reading, um, it will be transformative to your life. Yes. Go with me, if you will, um, to Proverbs 2, verse 1. It says, my son, if thou wilt receive my words yeah. and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thy ear unto wisdom and hap apply thy heart to understanding. You know, in all thy getting, we need to get an understanding. Amen. But we need to hide the word of God in our heart. You know, as Joshua says, you know, that, you know, you know, if you'll meditate on the word, you know, night and day. Amen. We need to meditate on the word. We Amen. need to think about it, chew on it. Amen. And God gives us uh, a command by, by not only putting God's word in our mind, amen, but applying it to, uh, uh, allowing it to get into our heart and then beginning to apply or allow the Holy Spirit right. to give us the revelation, which makes a difference in terms of how we live, how we see, and how we move. Yes, the, the study of God's word, especially in, in Proverbs, is accompanied with prayer and a spirit that cries out and says, God, I desire to know you. God, I, I want to learn from you. God, I want to hear from you. And so when we are reading the book of Proverbs, there's, there's information and there's instruction in the book of Proverbs. And so we have to take the instruction to heart and apply it to our lives. And as we do it, we need to ask the Holy Spirit to help us to understand and get insight from the word of God as we read it. You know what I mean? And as we're and then we're able to apply it to our lives, our daily lives and answer some of our own questions because God has given us and shown us what we need in the word of God. As the book of Acts says, you know, in him we live, we move, and, we and have, have our, our being. being. Come on. And we need to know that that revelation is is to teach us how to live, right? Uh, the Zoe kind of life. When right. Christ says, I've come that you might have life and that life more abundantly, you know, um, that's us living, you're right? Amen. Um, when we move, if you will, that is your, you know, you're moving in your day-to-day -day life, right? right? Um, your kinetics, the kinetics to your er everyday life. And then to have your being, if you will, you know, the essence, you know, um, in terms of how you, who you are, you know, just, just allowing it to be not about you, but about him. Amen. You know, and God wants us to, he wants us to cry out. He's asking us, call on my name, ask for insight. You know, he wants us to move from just the natural to the spiritual. When you get into the book of Proverbs and you are praying and you are reading and studying and asking for insight, that makes your relationship more intimate with God. And God wants us to be in that spiritual room. He wants to speak to you. God is a spirit and we must worship him in spirit and in truth. And he wants to speak to you, not just through his word, but through your prayer life. So um, when you are praying, earnestly seek an understanding of God's word, especially in the, pro in the book of Proverbs, because he says, ask for wisdom. You know, wisdom is not gray hair. Wisdom is not white hair. Wisdom is not old age, because there are a lot of old people with grow gray hair, and, and they have zero wisdom. But wisdom is about when you become, uh, when you get in that spiritual relationship with God, and God begins to reveal things to you in his word and show you the real meaning of what the word of God says, that's when the wisdom comes. That's when you're able to make wise decisions mm -hmm. and wise mm -hmm. choices in the things of life. And when you're able to say no when you want to say no, and you're able to move forward without a hesitation because you know that God has gone before you in all things. Amen. You know, in verse 20, it says, walk in the way of good men and keep, keep and keep the path 
of righteousness. So it begins to help you to understand that there's there's good and bad people that you could run around with or hang around with or allow to influence. Even that comes through the entertainment that you have. And, you know, I look at my life and, you know, a lot of times we struggle in life because we weren't taught. But once you get to a certain point, Come you on. can no longer blame, blame. somebody else because you weren't taught. It's up to you to go learn. But I look at my father-in-law. You know, there were some things that I gleaned from him that I'd never gleaned from anybody else, right? Yeah. You know, and, and he, he, he taught me, if you will, in essence, to be able to speak faith in life. And, and, and he so impacted my life. He is one of the greatest men I've ever met. And I'm so grateful. Yeah. And so, so, so this helps us to understand that we need to draw close. In other words, allow somebody to speak into our life. Right. Come on. Many of us, we need, to, we need to allow ourselves to be pastored. A lot of people go to church, but not everybody will, be, will allow you to be pastored. That's or, right. you know. and, then, and then outside of that, you still need to have a mentor, someone you allow to pour into you. Amen? And then, you know, when you do, then you can avoid many of the tragedies. You know, I, I, I know a young man who would always say, you know, you can either buy some sense or borrow some sense, Amen. right? Some of us need to go borrow some sense <laughs> because Amen. if we, if we have to pay it, it's going <laughs> to it, it, pay it on our own. It's going to cost us a lot more pain, struggle, and stress than we want. But if we borrow it, we can say, I, I can avoid stepping in that hole because I saw how you stepped in that hole. And, and I can either step over it, go around it, or do something different. Amen. And then, you know, um, when we do that, then God begins to develop yes, good desires in our hearts to give him some glory and live right before him. Amen. You know, and also in that, you will gain a sense of discernment. Yes, ma'am. Which we need in the word of God. God will give you a sense of discernment so that you can discern good from evil. evil. You can discern right from wrong. Why? Because God has given you the pattern in the word of God. And so we need a keen sense of discernment when it comes to reading the book of Proverbs or any book, any of God's word. We need for God to give us that spiritual discernment so that we can see what God is saying in the written word of God. Amen. And so it's important that we put ourselves in that place, you know, with a, uh, a great prayer life and a great study life will lead us in the right direction. Amen. 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 Well, we will see you tomorrow at 747. Have a blessed day.